Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're having a look at a boot test that I've been waiting for actually. It's quite a good one. We've got the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 and my iPhone 6 Plus. Same screen size. This is an OptiCore, but this has got 2 gig of RAM, where this has only got 1 gig of RAM. So it should be really good. So let's get into it. First of all, there are shouldn't be any applications running. I am running iOS 9 at public beta 1, so it's going to make my phone a little bit slower but not much so we're just going to get them both ready here to boot off she did hear a vibrate there from the Vodafone Ultra 6 and my phone is off as well. So, okay, let's boot in them back up. So I did hear a little vibrate there from the Android. So that was very close there. If it weren't for that Vodafone little overlay there, we would be up and running straight away. So looking at the devices, like I said, both same displays. This has got a quad core. <clears throat> so this is a full HD display and the iPhone is a retina display. They're both 5.5 member diagonally. So actually looking at the phone side by side here, Along the bottom, you've got the capacitive touch. I've just got the one button here for my touch ID and the home button. So you've got back button, home, and then a menu button for this device. Let's come out of that. So looking at them side by side, let's take a comparison. So remember this is the iPhone 6 Plus and this is the Vodafone Ultra 6. So you go, you see on the side there, I've got volume rockers and power button and your SIM card extraction on this side. Going around to the back here, you can see cameras there are a little bit different. It's 13 megapixel compared to an eight megapixel, which is a really shocker. The speaker is here on the back of the Vodafone Ultra 6, which is a shame because if you look on my iPhone 6 Plus, it's actually on the bottom there. So on the bottom there, you'll see my speaker. So where mine is facing outwards instead of facing down it makes it a lot better you've got a lightning port there and a microphone and on this one on the Vodafone you've got a microphone and a micro USB but also on mine you've got the 3.5 jack so turning around to the other side you've got my volume rockers and also my mute or vibrate on the Vodafone all you've got is your micro SD card slot which can take up to 128 gig cards, which is great to see. So going around to the top on my iPhone, there is nothing. And on the Vodafone Ultra, there is the 3.5 jack, which is great to see. So looking at them side by side here, you can't tell much difference really. They are both two great devices and highly recommended. But with one just costing a fraction of the cost of the iPhone, the Vodafone Smart Ultra 6 is a really great buy with that octa-core processor and that 2 gig of RAM, so I really recommend it there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Please let me know what you think, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Please give a thumbs up.